undo that. I better update Facebook to tell everybody. Starting the stream now. Straight Streaming. Now, dawn already. So so start start swearing now. Start 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 Streaming. Live. Facebook message. Oh, it's not that one annoying guy tell me he's streaming again. I know, right? Asshole. I'm sending you a shirt. Uh, let's see. So we're we're live now. Uh, yes. I totally thought Tim said so. Start screaming. <laughs> Did you just drop your tennis ball in that bag? Oh no, you got it. All right. No. Yeah, how'd you know? You showed me. <sighs> Gotta do first time setup because I've never played this game. What game are you playing? Uh, Mountain Blade Warband. I don't know what that is. I said you go ahead and open up your Twitch channel so I can give you a viewer. Let's see if this works. Uh, current module? Native? What? I don't know what that means. Uh, let's configure you it. You know what you did. Game. No, I don't want to hide blood. That's stupid in the name. Uh, oh man, this is kind of old, isn't it? It's like hide and seek with blood. Of course. Vert vertical <laughs> scene. There it is! <laughs> Where, is it? Where is it? Use desktop resolution anti-aliasing eight times. Shadow quality ultra high. Audio. Advance. Okay. And I guess play. And we'll see if this starts up and the screen's able to see it. Doesn't look like it. Oh. Maybe. Nope, it just closed. That's interesting. Let's try this again. It says you're not streaming. Oh, I'm live. Yeah, mine says he's live. What? What is happening here? There we go. Now it's loading. Hit refresh trailer. It says you're offline. Hit refresh. What's happening? Okay. So have either of you played this game before? Never heard of it. Nope. Alright. Andrew never heard of you neither. Has okay. Anyways, Andrew has been talking this game up big time, and I've heard about it in the past. It looks amazing. Uh, I am gonna play the tutorial. You approach a field where the locals are training with weapons. You can practice here to improve your combat skills. Continue. Weapons. Man, they got a good narrator in that game. Walk around the training field, thanks, and speak with the fighters <laughs> to practice various aspects of mount and blade combat. You can use ASDW keys to move around. To talk to a character, approach him until his name appears on your screen, and then press the F for fuck key. You can also use- wait, did I turn on the mature filter? You can use the F key to pick up items. I don't items. know what that means. Open doors and interact with objects. Press the tab key to exit the- well, I wasn't done reading. In my awesome narrator voice, so. <laughs> but I guess I am. Hey, it was you? <laughs> oh, crazy! Why is the camera like this? You can't help it, it's just boring that way. The camera's just like right behind my guy's head. So all I can see is my guy's head. Uh, maybe it's video options? Anti aliasing, Sounds I specifically like said trap. eight times. Shader quality, HDR mode? I don't even know what that is. Grass density. Character detail. Look, this game is super old. I'm pretty sure I can do max on everything. Okay, maybe it's supposed to be like this. I can't really see much. What about controls? What about controls, friend? Novice fighter, talk. 
Maybe try try control. Hello there! Maybe we are polishing up, off yeah, our combat yeah. skills here with a bit of sparring practice. You look like you could use a bit of training. Why don't you join us and we can show you a few tricks? And if you need explanation of any combat concepts, just ask and I will do my best to fill you in. Mm hmm. I want to practice. <laughs> I want to practice attacking. Alright, there are four principal directions for attacking. How? Oh, four? I'm already bored. These are overhead swing, right swing, left swing, and thrust. Now I will tell you which direction to attack from, and you must try to do the correct attack. Move your mouse while you press the left mouse button to specify attack direction. Oh. Okay, let's try that. That's very interesting. Very good. You have learned how to attack from any direction you want. <laughs> Madness! If you like, we can try this again or move to a different exercise. I want to practice blocking. Unlike a shield, blocking with a weapon can only stop attacks coming from one direction. That's a terrible ban. For example, if you block up, you'll deflect overhead attacks. The greatest ba I mean, the worst ban. But you can still be hit by side swings. Or thrust attacks. Wait, okay. It's like, oh, yeah, but, yeah, it's not bad, it's okay. I'll now attack you with different types of strokes. And I will wait until you do the correct block before attacking. Try to do the correct block as soon as you can. This practice is easy to do with the automatic block direction setting, which is the default. Oh, that sounds stupid easy. Down. Okay, so yeah, it's automatic blocking. Good, you were able to block my attack successfully. You may repeat this practice and try to get faster into your blah 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 blah. No, I think I'm done. Let's do some sparring. Oh my god, I just beat the crap out of them. Sure, they're trying to help you. I just still can't believe that guy's name is Novice Fighter. What were his parents thinking? Oh my god, look at my character's face. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a pouty Legolas. So Legolas? Oh, come on. Yeah! No, that was enough for me. I beat the veteran fighter. Wow, I'm already better than the veteran at this game. There's another novice. There's another regular fighter. What am I supposed right. to do now? Do you wish to leave the tutorial? Yes. That's it! I guess that was the whole thing. Start a new game. Welcome, adventurer, to Mountain Blade Warband. Before beginning the game, you must create your character. Remember that in the traditional medieval society depicted in the game, war and politics are usually dominated by male members of the nobility. That does not, however, mean that you should not choose to play a female character or one who is not of noble birth. Male nobles may have a somewhat easier start, but women and commoners can attain all of the same goals. And in fact, may have a much more interesting, if more challenging, early game. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Life is harder for women. Be a commoner woman. Uh, no. It's like a <laughs> commoner woman, yeah, that's like the absolute hardest thing to win with. Uh, I'm gonna be a male, and I'm gonna be a king. <laughs> you were born years ago in a land far away. Your father was... My father was... Hmm. That's kinda cool. I get to choose my own story, kind of like Guild Wars. Your father was. How about he was a traveling merchant? No, veteran warrior. Veteran warrior. As a child, your family scrabbled out a meager. That's not how you spell meager. Living from your father's wages as a guardsman to the local lord. 
It was not an easy existence, and you were too poor to get much of an education. Hey, man, fuck you. You learned mainly how to defend yourself on the streets, with or without a weapon in hand. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as... A page in an old man's court? A crash man to crash? A shop assistant? A street urchin? What's a stepchild? You should be the go-back. Thank <laughs> you, the go-back. <laughs> I don't think that's actually an option. But I'm gonna choose it. <laughs> but what should How about a shop assistant? As a boy growing out of childhood, you apprenticed to a wealthy merchant, picking up the trade over years of working shops and driving caravans. You soon became adept at the art of buying low, selling high, and leaving the customer thinking they've got the better deal. Then, as a young adult, life changed as it always does. You became... Uh... A troubadour. No. Uh... A squire? Maybe a squire? Squire's cool. Yeah, I'll do a squire. Though the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you had become a man. Hmm. And the whole world seemed to change around you. When you were named squire to a noble at court, you practiced long hours with weapons, learning how to deal out hard knocks and how to take them too. You were instructed in your obligations to your lord, and one of your duties to those who might okay, one day be your vassals. You were gone? I said I'll be right back, and you talking and you never listen. Well, I'm sorry, I'm streaming, I'm trying to do the voice, and the, that way the one person watching is entertained, which is you! <laughs> Wait, are you watching, I, uh, Tim? Yeah. Yes. That's Tim. I have, I ha I have uh, another thing to try to see if this Discord will work better for me. I oh, nice. It is. I'm not my viewership doesn't count, only trailers. Uh, actually, Jeez. if one of you wouldn't I, mind getting I'm on Facebook... I'm trying to tell you something. If one of you wouldn't mind getting on Facebook real quick and seeing if just one more person can join, I need that third person. I'll send a message. Uh, but yes, trailer, go on about Discord. Uh, so, you, you know, I've been dropping out every few minutes or whatever. Yep. So, I was in touch with their customer service, which, by the way, is crazy responsive. That's good. Uh... So they sent me a link to download uh, an unreleased client that's in development, I guess. It's like they're about to release it. Okay. And, uh, so they told me to try that. So now I'm on that. And is it we'll working see so how far? It goes. I mean, I just, I, when I left and then came back, that's when I switched onto it. So oh, okay. I, was on the, I was on the web plan before that. Okay. But in addition to learning the chivalric. Sh chivalric chivalric ideal, you also learned about the less uplifting side. Old warrior chivalric. stories of ruthless power politics, of betrayals and usurpations, of men who used guile as well as valor to achieve their aims. But soon everything changed, and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was... Uh, how about... The loss of a loved one. Syphilis. Only you know exactly. Wonderful. Did you just say syphilis? Yes. Okay, only you know exactly what <laughs> caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. All you syphilis. can say is that you couldn't bear to stay. Not with the memories of those you loved so close and so painfully. Perhaps your new life will let you forget or honor the name that you can no longer bear to speak. Become an adventurer and ride to your destiny or go back. <laughs> <laughs> what will the game's saving policy be? Uh, no saves. Realistic, no quitting without saving. Allow me to quit without saving? What? Uh, fine, realistic, I don't care. Now enter your name and distribute your attribute, skill, and weapon points. You can click on various elements on the screen to learn how each one will affect your character. Crap, is Andrew online? He told me he'd help me with this. Does anybody have his number? I don't have my phone. I'm at all in charisma. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have his number. Crap. He's not on Facebook no more. Let me see if he's... I'm not on Steam right now, so... He's not on Steam. Son of a... Okay. Son of a biscuit! Alright, well let's... I'll just try my best. 
Uh, <laughs> I did my best. I, have I, four, did best. I have four attribute points. I don't know, I did this in Fallout. Surely I can do it in this. And I did this in uh, Dragon Age. Little did he know. He was screwing up terribly. <laughs> uh, let's do one more in strength. God, he's a madman. A madman. Each point gives five weapon points. Slightly increases movement speed. There we go. I think that's good. 10, 8, 6, 10. <clears throat> and then six skill points. Oh my god, dude. Look at all these skills. This is intense. This is like D&D. You never played D&D. Uh, I've played Pathfinder. Yeah, that counts. Once. It's better than D&D. I, I really want to start building the D&D book library. But and I've played Star Wars. Wars. I was He's... at with Wizards Asylum the other day. And I was looking through all the books. They have Dude, just... Wizards Asylum is awesome. Oh my gosh. It's the best. I that place is so cool. Years. Yeah. They've got, they've got like a whole wall of Pathfinder stuff. Yeah. There's another game called Munchkin that I, I, I've seen really good reviews of, but I, I, I don't really know what it is. But it's a card game? Y yeah, I, I saw the stuff over there, but I, uh, there's, there's so many expansions and stuff, I don't know what's actually the original game. <laughs> the original game is just Munchkin, but basically, uh, it's a card game where you're playing against each other trying to get to level 10, and it's based on like a fantasy RPG type game, but all the expansions can drastically change that. Yeah. And it's, it's fun, kind of... but it usually devolves into so much backstabbing and angry <laughs> bickering that I, Perfect. I'm wary of playing it with certain people. Like, I didn't oh say man, that. <laughs> I have not played Total War with that guy since that night. That's just been it, just made me so it's angry. A lot of like, well, I'll help you with this if you do this later, and later they go, nope. Exactly. That's a lie. Huh? That's that's what it was like with. Keith. I hope you're watching, Keith! Uh, pathfinding. Party map speed is increased by 3% per skill level. Sure. And you're a pathfinder, then. Party scene range is increased by 10%. Nah. Maybe some first aid? Yeah, I'm gonna do first aid. Dude, like, seriously, if, if you're looking at this, look at all these skills. I know. That's, that's crazy. That's insane. That's Is that more than D&D? No. No. Um, well, those skills are more like feats, and no, that's not nearly as many feats as are in D&D or Pathfinder. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. The skills <laughs> in that game is not quite the same. Uh, looks like my guy's pretty proficient in all weapons. So, let's put three in one-handed, maybe one more in two-handed. I like pole arms, so two more there. Uh... What? How am I not done? Oh, I have to enter my name. Oh, man. Sir Lucas of... No, I can't think of a town. Bartlesville. <laughs> uh... Sir Lucas von Ingolschmidt. Sir Barnaby. <laughs> Sir Gringle. Sir, Bar Grant. Sir Barnaby Jones. Uh... Sir Bartle of Lucasville. Bartle of Lucasville? Sir Ville of Lucas Bart. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Bart Lucas, Sir Vonville. <laughs> I can't do I can't do crazier than that. <laughs> you win. Uh crap. I don't know. Is there a name generator? I usually just do that. What type of name are you looking for? Like a uh, Noble. Name? Noble. Hmm. Let me think here. What are What is your favorite planet in the galaxy? Nigel Black Rose. I don't like the rose. Nigel. Black Rose. Nigel sounds like a nerd. Nigel reminds me of the Nigel Thornberries. 
I'm smashing. <laughs> That's all I can think of when I think of Nigel. That's the best part. <laughs> uh, what's my favorite planet? Probably Mercury. Don't say Uranus. <laughs> Probably Mercury. Angela Merkel. Angela Merkel. Shut up. <laughs> you said Mercury. So, let's see. Bluevious! Help me think of a name, Bluevious! Wait, aren't you home? Or aren't you on Discord? I'm watching you, Bluevious. Oh. Help me think of a name, Bluevious. I always liked your, uh, Elemental name Decius. Oh, Decius. Uh, I always liked my uh, ritualist name from the first Guild Wars, Decimus Hadrianus, until I realized the last four letters of Hadrianus was <laughs> was anus. <laughs> 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 and then I didn't like that name so much. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. I'll just go with my necromancer name from Guild Wars, Decius Septus. Oh, it's a necro. Adjust your character's face. <laughs> All right, just give it, what? give me here a second. <laughs> Why do I remember your character's names? I don't know. That's weird. What's the matter with me? <laughs> Using the buttons and the sliders, or rather. Oh man. Did you turn oh, to build God. me all of a sudden? Dude. The <laughs> Look at, his, a, look at his face, back. though. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> My name's Decius. <laughs> Looks like this guy just wandered into this game and is so lost. Did you put his intelligence to it really low or something? No, I didn't. That, that's the smartest you can put in this game? Oh my <laughs> god. You have to see this guy. This poor guy looks like. Oh my god. It looks like his face is like batter or something and it's. <laughs> what is Like that stretched. Way too. Oh my god. And he has, and he has a ponytail. Nice porn stash. Dude, these oh, this graphics are. This is like from that awkward age of graphics. Yeah, in between like, like the really there. enjoyable 64 GameCube graphics and like the. Better graphics than today. This is like the weird, weird crap. This is like 2004 graphics. Oh my god, that guy looks like an alien. That guy looks like that man. If pedophile had a picture <laughs> next to it in the dictionary, <laughs> that's it. Right there, and he looks like I'm hurting his feelings by saying that. He looks so sad, <laughs> upset. Sad. The bald head. The bald head. Give him a hat and a look. This is the first normal looking person I've seen on here. And even he's kind of goofy looking. Kinda. Oh my lord. What is this game? Why do these people look like this? You're normal. Does <laughs> that guy just oh have bangs God. and nothing else? Look at the. What? What <laughs> is this? How. No one has hair like this. You can't grow hair like that. <laughs> I'm going to beg to differ. Good God. These are some of the ugliest sons of bitches I've ever seen. This guy's face is like way too small, but his nose is huge. Okay, can I just do default? Res reset everything. Uh. What? I just want to change the skin. Why is the. Oh, I guess this is changing the skin. Uh, let's do. Let's do that skin. I'd rather not have a pedo stash if I could avoid that. 
Alright, I'm okay with the big beard. You wanna be a little within 50 yards of an orphanage? Yeah, pretty much. Hair. Oh my lord. Long, beautiful hair. <laughs> hair from where? What's with this guy's mouth? Can I change that? Oh. It looks like he's always barely about to talk. Like he's just gonna whisper something real quick. Mouth, nose, distance, jaw position, jaw width, chin forward, chin shape, chin size. I really, really, really don't want that mouth that is so disturbing looking. There you go. You can't have hair like that. I'm about to just go with the standard like this. Oh my god. Ah, oh, you can really age these guys. Hair color. No, I'm actually fine with the blonde. Sure, we'll just do that. Okay. <clears throat> you hear about Calradia, a land torn between rival kingdoms battling each other for supremacy. A haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory. And this land, which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. Hey, why is Brad not online right now? I don't know. Why would he be? He doesn't have to work for the next two days. He doesn't work Mondays or Tuesdays. I don't know. Good question. I just realized it's 10 o'clock. I gotta go to bed. Night! I do have to work tomorrow. And this land which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities. Good night, Tim. You believe Good you night. may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally you hold the key of your destiny in your hands. Free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, great adventures will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Colredia and its kingdoms, you... Join a caravan? Join another caravan? Join a third caravan. <laughs> Take a ship. Take another ship. Or join a fourth caravan. <laughs> Why are four of these things caravans? <laughs> I'll take a ship to Sargoth. You took passage with a trading longship <laughs> carrying. You chose. Holy. <laughs> Carrying Gur Falcons from the furthest reaches of the north to be bartered for linen and wool. It sailed early in the season, but the master reckoned that the risk of drifting ice in later winter storms could be justified by arriving ahead of the Sea Raiders, who, by April, would be sailing forth from their island lairs to ravage Calradio's coast. It was some relief when your ship came in sight to the delta of the Vile and Bolak rivers, and a short while later rode past tidal flats and coastal marshes to the city of Sargoth. Home to the Sea Raiders' distant kinsmen, the Nordic Lords, who a few generations ago had carved themselves a kingdom in this rich but troubled land. Man, there's a lot of reading in this. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn in Sargoth. Is this a text game? You are exhausted by the time you find the inn in Sargoth and fall asleep quickly. However, you awake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out onto the streets, which are still deserted. All of a sudden, you hear a sound that stands the hairs of your neck on end. The rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. Uh oh. <laughs> you didn't teach me how to switch weapons. I got a shield. Why is all I have a crossbow? And my fist. Oh, crap! Delivered zero damage. Uh. Where did he come from? I don't know, but I have no weapon. Crossbow. Crossbow for your life. Uh. That's not gonna help. Ow! 
I shouldn't have traded from the crossbow. Oh great, I dropped my shield. <laughs> How did you do that? I don't know, I'm just pressing buttons! No! I, I guess I'm just gonna start fighting him. You can't drive your crossbow. I've, I've, I've hit every button on the keyboard. I'm dead. <laughs> Knocked unconscious by bandit. However, you are struck down. However, before you lose consciousness, you hear shouts and a rush of footfalls. You wake to find yourselves indoors, weak but alive. I would have been struck down if I could equip. Hey, Peanut. Controls. Toggle weapon mode. X. Equip item one. Numpad one? Why? Scroll up is next weapon. Right, I didn't have one. Okay, so let's try X. Oh my god, it's one on the number pad. Why? Not on the regular numbers, but just on the number pad? Just on the number pad. Oh my lord. Ah, you're awake! You got your ass kicked! It's good to see that you can still walk. You're lucky that we came along. I had been speaking with the watch when we heard the sounds of a fight and ran to see what was happening. We didn't arrive in time to prevent you getting knocked down, but we may have saved you from getting your throat cut. Now, maybe you can help me. Why, I'm obviously of no use. I can't fight anybody. We've always had brigands in the hills driven to banditry by war, debt, or love of violence. Recently, however, they've been getting bolder, leaving their camps in the wild and venturing into town looking for unwary prey. Like me! The watch commander tells us it's because of all the fighting on the frontiers. Fewer men to keep an eye on the streets, but I'm not sure what to make of that. It seems to me that the most logical explanation is that these bandits have an ally inside the walls, who helps them enter unnoticed and helps them identify particularly tempting targets. Last week, you see, they took my brother. I don't know what my brother was thinking, a lad from a prominent house, out alone after dark in times like these. Well, I suppose you were too, but you're a stranger here, and didn't know how bad things have become. He had no such excuse, but he's family, so what can you do? If you don't protect your kin, then people will start thinking that you can't protect your investments either, and I can't have that. No doubt the gang will soon send word about a ransom, but I don't care to pay it. What a good brother. So here's my proposition. You look like you've had a bit of experience with a blade. <laughs> What in the world gave you that idea? Uh, some experience, yes. <laughs> and more importantly, you must have a bit of fire in your belly. Huh, I, my stomach is upset. Or you wouldn't be coming to call Redia to seek your fortune. So here's what I'm asking you to do. Gather a small party, track down these bandits to their lair. Teach them a lesson they won't forget, and get my brother back safe. In return, you own my lasting gratitude and a bit of silver. What do you say? Sure. You've gotten a hundred dinars. New quest taken. Collect five men. For sacrifice. <laughs> you won't be able to do this by yourself, though. If you try and take on the whole gang single-handedly, the hunter will become the hunted, I'll warrant. You'll first want to round up a group of volunteers. There's always a few lads in the villages around here, looking for a bit of work that's more interesting than tilling the soil or hauling water. They'll follow you if you pay. So, take this purse of 100 dinars, consider an advance on your reward, go around to the villages and use the money to hire some help. I'll reckon that you need at least five men to take on these bandits. Okie dokie. Very good, sir. I'll go collect some men from around the villages. Ho ho ho! Good. You can find me again in the tavern here in Sargoth after you've got your group together. Then we'll speak about what we do next. You have taken your first quest. You may view your quest log by pressing Q any time in the game. Q. Where? Oh. Collect five men. <laughs> and just stuff them into your little purse. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'll do, yoink! <laughs> help! <laughs> I wouldn't have done <laughs> get, get me out of here! Press tab to leave now. 
Why, is there no door? There does not appear to be a door. <laughs> this man's house has no doors. To get out of this medieval building is to have a completely advanced keyboard on you and push the tab button. <laughs> you are now viewing the Overland map. Left click on the map to move your party to that location. Enter the selected town or pursue the selected party. Time will pause on the Overland map if your party is not moving, waiting, or resting. Wait anywhere. Simply press and hold down the space bar. Dude, this game's like intense. The town of Sargoth seems to be flourishing. The people look well fed and relatively content. Craftsmen do a thriving business and some migrants appear to be coming here from other regions to seek their luck. You see the banner of King Ragnar of Kingdom of Nords. I almost thought it said of Kingdom of Nerds over the town gates. Eh, welcome to our kingdom. <laughs> the populace is indifferent to you, Zero. A tournament will be held here soon. Uh, let's take a walk around the streets. I have no idea how to dismount this horse. Dude, why are there so many controls that aren't explained? <laughs> Oh, you don't get off the horse. It's called Mount and Blade. You're always on the horse. What does that button do? Oh, is that I? That's inventory. Okay. P is for party. A P is not for parties. Don't pee at a party. Almost caught up on all the birthday posts. How the heck do I get off this horse? Oh my god, do I really have to go look at the controls? Did you push two on the number pad? Two is equip item two. Did you push three on the number pad? There is no button for getting off the horse. Oh my god, Andrew, why? Oh, now I'm off the horse. What the heck? Oh my god, where did my horse go? This is gone. gonna help me? Weaponsmith, good day, what can I do for you? I wanna Get buy a new weapon. Horse. <laughs> 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 I'll just go around town screaming that. <laughs> <laughs> Prices, weather, the war, the same old things. I wanna buy a new weapon. Wait, I have a sword? What? Yeah, it's called Mountain Blade. You have to have a sword and a horse at all times. Why is it three and not two? <laughs> nothing is two. Two is nothing. So three and four are... Oh my god. It's just a decoy. I... Um, Mr. Dan. Good day, sir. What can you tell me about this town? This is the town of Sargoth, sir. A town of the surrounding lands belong to King Ragnar of Kingdom of Nords. We mostly produce bread, ale, wine, leather work tools, wool cloth, linen, pottery, and oil here. That's a lot. If you'd like to learn more, you can speak with our guildmaster. He is nearby. Right over there. 
You there, townsman. Oh, you say the exact same thing. Okay. How is life here? Times are hard, but we must count our blessings. What is your trade? I make pottery. What's the latest rumor? I have heard nothing. Alright, none of these people look like they'd be able to help me find you, buddy. What's up, lady? What can I do for you? Get me off this horse. Oh, I got off the horse. I don't know how to sheathe my blade. That seems like something I should learn. Okay. For some reason, back, backwards uh, slash is sheath blade. I don't know. It's kind of shaped like a sword. It makes sense. Talk to the guildmaster. Hello, stranger. You seem to be new to Sargoth. Seeing as you have trouble doing anything, <laughs> I'm the guildmaster <laughs> of the town. <laughs> can you tell me about what you do? I'm the guildmaster. You could say I'm the leader of the good people. I can help you find a job if you're looking for someone this work. Who rules this town? King Ragnar, blah, 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 blah. That's all I need to know, thanks. Yes? Do you happen to have a job for me? You look for a job. Actually, I was looking for someone to escort a caravan. Perhaps you can do that. Caravan of goods to Hallmar. However, with all those bandits and deserters on the road, I don't want to send them out without an escort. If you can lead that caravan to Hallmar in 15 days, you will earn 212 dinars. Of course, your party needs to be at least six strong to offer them any protection. I'm afraid I have zero. Will that be good enough? <laughs> <laughs> Do you accept any bits of string? Politics? Good heaven, the guild has nothing to do with politics. We are loyal servants of King Ragnar. We merely govern our own affairs and pass on the townspeople's concerns to our lords and masters. And maybe warn them from time to time against evil advice? Anyways, what did you wish to ask? Da, 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 da. Practice to make war is exhausting. Okay, it's exhausting work. It is easy enough to lay waste to the enemy's farmland, but crops will grow back, and it is a far different nature or matter to capture an enemy stronghold and hold it. So the monarchs of Calrodi will fight a little, sign the truce, fight a little more, and so on and so forth. Often a monarch will go to war when another realm provokes them. At such times, some bad influence who look to enrich themselves with ransoms and pillage will clamor for retribution, and thus the damage caused by war to a monarch's treasury is less than the damage caused by doing nothing would be to his authority. I'm, of course, not talking about King Ragnar, as no one would ever question his authority. I would stress again that we are in the guild, have nothing to do with politics, but if King Ragnar were to ask for my advice on these matters as a lawyer subject, I would tell him that while his claim to all of Calrady is truly just, even the most legitimate claim must be backed by armed men, and armed men want money, and money comes from trade, and war ruins trade. So sometimes the best way to push a claim is not to push it, if you know what I mean. You may tell King Ragnar this if you see him. Don't mention my name specifically, just say the people of Sargoth. Told you this. Our personal opinion, of course, as to what would be in King Ragnar's best interest. None of us would ever dream of questioning a monarch's sovereign right to push his legitimate claims. Lords of Realm often have very different ideas about honor, strategy, and the way a nobleman should behave. In addition, they compete with each other for the ruler's favor, and are constantly weighing up their position, how they stand, how their friends and family stand, and how their enemies stand. Underlying all the tensions is the possibility that a lord may abandon his liege and pledge vassalhood to another. In theory, each lord has sworn an oath of vassalage, but in practice a vassal can always find an excuse to absolve himself. The vassal may claim that the liege has failed to hold up the end of the bargain to protect the vassal and treat him justly. Or the vassal may claim that his liege is in fact a usurper, and another has a better claim to the kingship. Leeches and vassals still watch each other carefully. If a king believes that his vassal is going to change the sides of the battle, he may indict the vassal for treason and seize his properties. Likewise, if a vassal fears that he will be indicted, he may rebel. Usually, whoever makes the first move will be able to control the vassal's fortresses. Now, men must do not trust a vassal who turns coat easily, nor do they trust a king who lightly throws around charges of treason. Those two factors can keep a realm together, but if relations between a vassal and a leech deteriorate far enough, things can become very tense indeed. Now the lands, of course. These things could never happen here in the Kingdom of Lords. 
Oh my good lord. We have shortages of flax, wool, iron, hides, grapes, grain, pork, and some other commodities. It's still early in the caravan season, so we have seen little trading. There's little news about the caravan routes to the towns of blah 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 blah, but no news is good news. And those are therefore considered safe. Also the roads to the villages of blah 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 and other outlying hamlets are considered safe. Good lord, that's a lot of towns. Here in Sargarth, we are poorer than five towns and richer than sixteen. My god, this is all... I feel like I'm going to need to know all this. In terms of local industry, the most productive town in Calradia is known to be Yalen. Here in Sargarth, we produce less than five towns and produce more than sixteen. Production is, of course, affected by the supply of raw materials as well as by the overall prosperity of the town. Oh my good lord. In terms of the output of the surrounding villages, the town of Durham is the richest in Calredia. Here in Sargoth, the villagers produce less than the hinterland around four towns and produce more than 17. The wealth of a town's hinterland, of course, is heavily dependent on the tides of war. Looting and pillaging and shifts in territory can make a major impact. In terms of trade, the town of Sargoth is believed to have received the most visits from caravans over the past few months. Here in Sargoth, we are visit less visited than zero towns and more visited than 21. Oh my good lord. In terms of attacks on travelers, town in Sargoth is believed to be the most dangerous. Here in Sargoth, we are less afflicted by bandits and raiders than zero towns and more afflicted than 21. Good lord. That is enough of that. Oh, can I not go into houses? I want to go into houses. You there, will you assist me? I'm not finding anybody to assist me. Uh, why would I want to buy any of this? I really just want to find the five people and go fight some bandits. Okay, M is not map, so that's kind of a downer. Wait, talk to me! Going here? Nope. I don't think I went in here yet. Go to the tavern. I'm sure to find somebody in here. Boy, you look at. Oh my lord. Yeah! Well, I'd say that he started it. That entitles you to a sword and purse, I suppose. My god, if that's the rules. Have a drink on the house, as I dare say you've saved a patron or two at Broken Skull. Still, I hope he still has a pulse. But it's not good for an establishment to get the names of place where men get killed. Wait, is my shield really broken? Holy crap, he broke my shield! What a jerk! I beat somebody, but just barely. Do you have a need for mercenaries, sir? Me and, my, me and five of my mates are looking for a master. We'll join you for 2,256 dinars. Haha, <laughs> that sounds good. But I don't have nearly uh, enough. 2,256 dinners? I have a uh, hundred.
Oh my god, dude, there is so much talking in this game. I asked the guildmaster about politics, and I'm not kidding, it was like 20 pages of this. <laughs> a sergeant I was in the gas in here at Sorgoth. Twenty years I stood guard for the city, taking many a hard knock and many a tough fight. Until they appointed a snub-nosed, downy-lipped princeling, barely out of his mother's cradles, commander of the garrison. He came upon me standing watch atop the tower, with my crossbow unstrung, on account of the rain, you see. Can't have the cord loosen. But little Prince Snotnose tells me that an unstrung bow is dereliction of duty. <laughs> so <laughs> says he'll have me horse whipped, and something in me snapped. So I walked off my post. Now I'm here getting drunk, and the devil take tomorrow. If you're looking for work, I can use experienced fighters. Are you now? That's a slight better than swinging from a gibbet for desertion. You won't regret taking me on, brother. I'm a dead eye with a crossbow, a beautiful weapon. It can right punch through a nobleman's armor and spill his blue blood upon the ground. And I've trained more raw recruits than you've had hot dinners. Begging your pardon. I don't toady to the highborn. Good man. I'll treat you with the respect you deserve. That's good news, but I asked for one last thing, Captain. I have a woman here in Sargoth, a tavern wench, and she says she has my child in her belly. Oh my god. I want to give her some money before I leave for the child, you know. Do you think you could spare 200 dinars? Sorry, I can't afford that. I can't. I mean, I don't know. I'm just telling the truth there. So, what's wrong with my shield? Lucas? Yes. You show us cancer. It looks like it does. No, there it is. What the heck? Now it's okay. Whatever. Alright, so I got that guy on my team. How about the merchant of Sargoth? Oh, this is the guy that hired me. Whoops. <laughs> I don't suppose you want to help, do you? <laughs> Greetings oh, to you, no, sir. No, you no. look like someone who should get to know me. Why is that? I broke a ransoms for the poor wretches who are captured in these endless wars. Boy, that sounds super evil. Normally, I travel between the salt mines and the slave markets on the coast. Yep, I was right. On commission from those whose relatives have gone missing. But if I'm out on my errands of mercy and I come across a fellow dragging around a captive or two, well, there's no harm in a little speculative investment, is there? And you look like the type who might have a prisoner to sell. My god, what kind of person do you think I am? <laughs> Would you be able to ransom me if I were taken? What can I get for a prisoner? What their families can't pay? Of course, I'm welcome in every court in Cairo. There's not many who could say that, so always be sure to keep a pot of dinars buried somewhere in a loyal servant you can find it in a hurry. Okay, never mind. Oh, I guess that's if one of my guys get captured, then I can get them back. Have you heard of anyone in this room who might have a job for a man like myself? No. You're just gonna say the one guy who I've already talked to. You there, good man, be so kind as to fetch me another drink, I You must have me confused with the tavern keep, sir. My most humble apologies. Is it something oh I'm so tired of talking. It's sometimes hard to recognize folk amid the smoke and gloom here. So can I believe that I must make my home in such a place. Oh my god, please tell me your whole life story. I was my father's first son and his heir. But my mother died, and my father remarried. His new wife thought her son should inherit. She could not move against me openly. But the other day, I fed a pot of suet that had been left out for me to one of my hounds, and it killed over. Oh. I accused my stepmother, but my father, befuddled by her witchcraft, refused to believe me and ordered me to leave his sight. I hope to offer my sword to some worthy captain, as it is the only honorable profession for a man of my birth apart from only land. In the meantime, I am condemned to make my bed among thieves, vagabonds, merchants, and the other riffraff of the road. Perhaps you'd like to join my company for a while. I would very much like that, sir. I am a gentleman and prefer to fight with sword and lance. I recognize that you are of lower birth than I. Okay, asshole. There is no shame for me to serve under an experienced captain. Presuming, of course, that your followers do not become too familiar with me. I assume that will not be a problem? Um... You assume wrong, sir. My company will respect courage and skill rather than noble birth. Wait, so is he my friend now? <coughs> oh, this guy's writing songs. Tell me about Larage and love. No, please don't. Nope, that's all. Nope, goodbye.
Wait, 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 wait. I do have some questions about courtship. Nobles are an odd lot, and Colredia, a daughter, is a political asset to be given away to a lord with whom her father wishes to make an alliance. <sighs> Yet the great families of this land idolize pure love between man and woman, and I have seen many a hard warrior weep copious tears at the doomed Ardor of Sahara and Janun and the Sons. Even as he made plans to break his own daughter's hearts. Dude, I'm about to fall asleep. Fathers differ, of course. Some Colredia nobles will, but the majority will still, but of course, do you have any questions? No. Goodbye. So, wait, did this guy join my party? Oh, I guess he did. Okay. Uh. Maybe this is why they made that tab thing. Because I got blocked in there. So, where's my party at? P for party. Where's my party? C for class. Dude, I think I'm gonna have to wait for Andrew to get on. This is so dang complicated. I'm gonna save and exit. Did I miss something in the tutorial? Oh my lord, okay. I'll wait till Andrew's on and I'll play that again next time.